There it is, 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner. Numbers matching, 344 speed, 39,000 original miles. Just recently painted back to the fact original V5 blue. Fifteen-inch rally wheels all around. Two seventy-five sixties in the back. Two twenty-five seventies up front. Roadrunner stickers were reapplied. Oh, the rear tires look really good on this. Fill up the uh, factory wheel wells really nice. The factory. Exhaust tips were re-chromed. It's a really nice car. Let's take a look at the interior. The interior in this Roadrunner is really clean. Factory black bucket seats. Pistol grip shifter. AM radio, rally dash. Carpet's in really good shape. Headliner. Rear sail panels are nice. All the rubber's in really good shape. I believe these are the factory door panels. And they're in really nice shape. Let's go take a peek in the trunk. The trunk is just as clean as the rest of the car. It has the factory trunk dress up kit, which has the uh, wheel well covers, the inner quarter panel covers. The rear deck here is covered. Let's take a look under the hood. As I said earlier, numbers matching 340. I checked the numbers on the heads, intake, and block. All the date codes correspond to the build date of the car. The last eight digits of the VIN are factory stamped into the block in the correct location. Power steering, power disc brakes. Still has the uh, factory Roadrunner beep beep horn. Charcoal canister. It does have ceramic coated headers. Runs really good, no leaks. It is a factory AC car. However, the uh, compressor and condenser are missing. The evaporator and all the ductwork is still under the dash. So it'd be pretty easy to put factory AC back in the car. Runs really good. Let's take a listen. And there you have it, an extremely clean, numbers matching, low mile, 344 speed, 73 Roadrunner. Runs as good as it looks.